The University of Exeter is a public research university located in Exeter, southwest England, United Kingdom. The university was founded and received its royal charter in 1955, although its predecessor institutions, the Royal Albert Memorial College and the University College of the Southwest of England, were established in 1900 and 1922 respectively. In postnominals, the University of Exeter is abbreviated as Exxon, and is the suffix given to honorary and academic degrees from the university. The university has four campuses, Streatham and St. Luke's, and Truro and Penryn. The university is centered in the city of Exeter, Devon, where it is the principal higher education institution. Streatham is the largest campus containing many of the university's administrative buildings, and is regarded as one of the most beautiful in the country. The Penryn campus is maintained in conjunction with Falmouth University under the Combined Universities in Cornwall initiative. The university was named the Sunday Times University of the Year in 2013 and was the Times Higher Education University of the Year in 2007. Exeter has maintained a top 10 position in the National Student Survey since the survey was launched in 2005. In 2011, it was considered as being one of the top 12 elite universities in England, and has been consistently ranked as one of the top 10 UK universities in recent years. Exeter is a member of the Russell Group of Leading Research Intensive UK Universities. The university is also a member of Universities UK, the European University Association, and the Association of Commonwealth Universities and is an accredited institution of the Association of MBAs. History The university's origins can be traced back to three separate educational institutions that existed in the city of Exeter and in Cornwall in the middle of the 19th century. University College of the Southwest of England to celebrate the educational and scientific work of Prince Albert, and inspired by the Great Exhibition of 1851, Exeter School of Art in 1855 and the Exeter School of Science in 1863 were founded. In 1868, the Schools of Art and Science relocated to Royal Albert Memorial Museum in Queen Street, Exeter and with support from the University of Cambridge, became the Exeter Technical and University Extension College in 1893. In 1900 its official title was changed to the Royal Albert Memorial College and the college moved to Bradninch Place in Gandhi Street. The college was again renamed to the University College of the Southwest of England in 1922 after the college was incorporated under the Companies Act and included on the list of institutions eligible to receive funds from the then University Grants Committee, as was customary for new university institutions in England in the 19th and early 20th centuries. The college prepared students for external degrees of the University of London. Alderman W. H. Reed, a former mayor of Exeter, donated Streatham Hall on the Streatham Estate to the new University College in 1922. Streatham Hall was renamed to Reed Hall after its benefactor. At the same time, the first principal of the University College, later Sir Hector Hetherington, persuaded the council of the college to buy a major portion of the Streatham estate. A slow move to the Streatham estate from the centre of the city occurred over time. The first new building erected on the Streatham estate was the Washington Singer Building. The foundation stone was laid by the Prince of Wales, then president of the University College of the Southwest of England. The building was opened in 1931. The first of the purpose-built halls of residence, Marden Hall, opened in 1933. The second academic building on the estate was the Robera Library named in recognition of the interest taken in the development of the college by the first Lord Robera, one of its early benefactors. Robera Library was completed around 1939. The University College of the Southwest of England became the University of Exeter and received its Royal Charter in 1955, exactly 100 years after the formation of the original Exeter School of Art. 
Queen Elizabeth II presented the charter to the university on a visit to Streatham the following year. The university underwent a period of considerable expansion in the 1960s. Between 1963 and 1968, a period when the number of students at Exeter almost doubled, no fewer than ten major buildings were completed on the Streatham estate as well as halls of residence for around 1,000 students. These included homes for the chemistry and physics departments, the Newman, Lava and Engineering buildings and Streatham Court. Queen's Building had been open for the Arts Faculty in 1959 and the Amory Building, housing law and social sciences, followed in 1974. In the following two decades, considerable investment was made in developing new self-catering accommodation for students. Gifts from the Gulf states made it possible to build a new university library in 1983 and more recently have allowed for the creation of a new Institute of Arab and Islamic Studies. A further major donation enabled the completion of the XFI Center for Finance and Investment. Since 2009, significant further investment has been made into new student accommodation, new buildings in the business school, and the forum. A new development for the center of Streatham campus, St. Luke's College, Exeter in 1838. The Exeter Diocesan Board of Education resolved to found an institution for the education and training of schoolmasters. The first such initiative in England. As a result, a year later, the Exeter Diocesan Training College was created in Cathedral Close, Exeter at the former house of the Archdeacon of Totnes, adjacent to Exeter Cathedral. The first principal was appointed and the college opened in 1840. Expansion followed, and in 1853, John Hayward was commissioned to design a purpose-built premises for the college on Heavy Tree Road. The building, largely built in grey limestone from Torbay with bath stone dressings, was completed by the autumn of the following year. On 18 October 1854, after a service in Exeter Cathedral, an opening ceremony for the new buildings was held. From this date in 1854, the college was unofficially known as St. Luke's. The college's intake in 1854 was 40 students. In parallel, at the Royal Albert Memorial College, an initiative within the Arts and Sciences Department in 1912 eventually led to the formation of an Institute of Education and a separate department of extramural studies for the purposes of teacher training. Exeter Diocesan Training College was formally renamed to St. Luke's College Exeter in 1930 and became co-educational in 1966. In 1978, St. Luke's College Exeter was incorporated into the University of Exeter. A faculty was created incorporating the university's Institute of Education and St. Luke's College Exeter into a new school of education. The Peninsula Medical School was established in 2000 in conjunction with the University of Plymouth and the National Health Service. Based at St. Luke's and the Royal Devon and Exeter Hospital, the School of Dentistry opened in 2007 and, together with the Peninsula Medical School, created the Peninsula College of Medicine and Dentistry. St. Luke's campus is the main site for the University of Exeter Medical School, which accepted its first students in 2013. Camborne School of Mines during the 18th and 19th centuries. Cornwall was among the most significant metalliferous mining regions in the world. Camborne School of Mines was founded in 1888 to meet the needs of this local industry. Camborne School of Mines was located in the centre of Camborne for almost a century but, following major investment by the international mining industry and others, relocated in 1975 to purpose-built facilities midway between Camborne and Redruth. Significant expansion and diversification of teaching and research provision occurred during the 1980s and early 1990s, including the development of undergraduate and taught postgraduate degree programs in geology, environmental science and surveying. 
In 1993, Camborn School of Mines was incorporated into the University of Exeter. Initiatives by the University of Exeter and others to expand the provision of higher education in Cornwall resulted in the combined universities in Cornwall initiative in 1999. As part of this initiative, Penryn, just outside Falmouth, became the site of the Penryn campus, a facility shared with Falmouth University. Camborn School of Mines relocated to Penryn during 2004 when the university's new Cornwall campus opened. Campus Streatham Campus Streatham is the main campus, sitting on a hillside one side of which looks down across Exeter city centre. The Independent has described the campus environment as sublime. The campus has several galleries, including the Bill Douglas Center for the History of Cinema and Popular Culture. A sculpture walk includes pieces by Henri Moore and Barbara Hepworth. There is a bar called the Ram, and a bar within a nightclub called the Lemon Grove, both run by the Students Guild. The campus hosts a medical center, a counseling service, a children's daycare center, and numerous catering outlets. Many halls of residence and some self-catering accommodation are located on this campus or in the near vicinity. The Northcote Theatre resides on the campus. The university has undergone an investment program worth more than £235 million in recent years. New student accommodation was constructed, including Holland Hall, named after the former vice-chancellor of the same name. Sports facilities, including a professional standard tennis center, have been completed in addition to an upgrade of the student skill building. After a donation from the ruler of the Shahjar Emirate, Sultan bin Mohammed al Kashimi, an alumnus of the university, an extension was added to the Institute of Arab and Islamic Studies building. In 2006, the Department of Drama completed a major renovation with the construction of the state-of-the-art Alexander Building, named after the university's former Chancellor Lord Alexander. The Department of Biosciences is based in three buildings on the Streatham campus. Jeffrey Pope, the Henry Wellcome Building for Biocatalysis and the Hathaly Laboratories. The department has recently received significant investment to further develop its facilities, particularly with improvements to the Jeffrey Pope Building. The business school has a new addition with the completion of Building 1 to add to its existing buildings of Streatham Court and the XFI Centre for Finance and Investment. The XFI Centre is the venue for the business schools in bar and executive programmes and incorporates the Centre for Leadership Studies. A student services centre has also been constructed in Streatham Court, with its lecture theatre and in-bar suite recently renovated. The Exeter Innovation Centre, based at the Streatham campus, has been completed in two phases. Phase 1 of the Innovation Centre was finished in 2000 with Phase 2 opening in 2008, creating a 37,000 square feet building for use by new and growing businesses within the development and research sectors, a base for 55 firms in the city. The centre houses high-tech businesses from the software and biomedical sectors to advanced manufacturing and internet firms. The Innovation Centre is host to some of the most upwardly mobile small firms in the country. According to Experian in a report commissioned by the BBC, as a result of a £48 million investment, the Forum building includes new facilities including a 400-seat auditorium, a student services centre, learning spaces and retail facilities. The Forum is located at the centre of the Streatham campus and features the refurbished main library, the Great Hall and the area between it. Designed as a glass structure of modernist design, the Forum also acts as the university reception area. The Forum was officially opened by Queen Elizabeth II on 2 May 2012. The Forum's structural engineers, Burrow Hapold, won the 2013 Institution of Structural Engineers Award for e-educational healthcare structures for the project. 
St. Luke's Campus Street. Luke's Campus is just over a mile from the larger Streatham Campus and 10 minutes walk from the center of Exeter. The campus is home to the largest academic school of the university, the Graduate School of Education. It shares the campus with the Department of Sport and Health Sciences. The future of St. Luke's campus was the subject of a feasibility study in 2007, and a proposal was considered by the university to relocate one of the departments to the Streatham campus to facilitate future expansion at St. Luke's. A final decision was taken by the university management team in July 2007, with the Graduate School of Education, the Department of Sport and Health Sciences, and the Peninsula College of Medicine and Dentistry remaining in residence at St. Luke's. Penryn Campus The University of Exeter, Cornwall Campus, is a campus of the University of Exeter in Penryn, Cornwall. The campus is part of the Combined Universities in Cornwall project, and is shared with University College Falmouth. University of Exeter departments on the site include the internationally renowned Camborne School of Mainz, whose graduates are highly sought after by mining and civil engineering industries as well as the renewable energy sector. Other departments at Penryn include the rapidly growing Center for Ecology and Conservation, the Environment and Sustainability Institute, and the Institute of Cornish Studies. The campus is set in 100 acres of countryside, but close to the towns of Penryn and Falmouth. The campus has a population of around 4,000 students. All the Cornwall departments are constitutionally parts of departments also represented at the university's Exeter campuses, including the Camborne School of Mines, which is a part of the College of Engineering, Mathematics and Physical Sciences. Cornwall Council is building the Tremor Innovation Center on land adjacent to the campus with the aim of enabling existing and start-up companies to grow and thrive, organization and administration, governance The governance framework of the university is in its Royal Charter which was granted in 1955. The Council is the university's governing body, with responsibility for institutional policies and financial, estates and legal matters. Academic governance is provided by the Senate which is responsible for teaching and learning, examinations and research. The Chancellor is the Chief Ceremonial Officer of the University and presides over occasions such as degree ceremonies. The Vice-Chancellor is the Chief Academic and Executive Officer of the University and is supported by four Deputy Vice-Chancellors. The university's current chancellor is Floella Benjamin, Baroness Benjamin, an actress, author and businesswoman. The vice-chancellor and chief executive is Sir Steve Smith, an international relations theorist and former president of Universities UK. He was knighted in the 2011 Birthday Honours for services to local and national higher education. The university's visitor is Queen Elizabeth II. The university organizes its academic and administrative departments into six academic colleges. Each college contains a number of subject disciplines, institutes and research centers. The colleges are led by a dean who works in partnership with a college manager and is supported by two associate deans, one for research and knowledge transfer and one for education. Colleges and Departments Center for Maritime Historical Studies The Center for Maritime Historical Studies was formed in 1991 to promote a wider understanding of the significance of maritime history within the world of historical scholarship. Some of the supported programs are Naval History, Maritime History, Coat of Arms The University Coat of Arms symbolizes the university's historical associations with the locality. The triangular gold castle with three towers comes from Exeter's coat of arms and represents Rougemont Castle, as alluded to by the red background. The 15 gold bezants that appear around the edge of the shield are from the arms of the Duchy of Cornwall and represent Cornwall, while the green cross on the white background is from the city of Plymouth's coat of arms. The theme of learning is symbolized by the book with gold edges and a Latin motto, Lucem Sequimor.